<laughs> hey. Yo. Welcome to the Sip City Podcast. We back off up in this motherfucker, man. Once again for the next week. Uh, we got our got our original cast members on here, Mr. T E Z. What up with you, bro? Yo, in the house. Yo, we got uh Mr. Motherfucking F O E underscore T V, Mr. D White. What's happening, bro? Yeah, and then we got nephew over here, yeah. Mr. Mr. YRN Cam in this motherfucker. What'd you say about it, bro? What's up? What's up, guys? Hey. Bitch, ladies. So, we round this motherfucker, right? And uh, we were just having a conversation about etiquette, table etiquette, eating etiquettes. And it was brought about because uh, my two constituents here was eating. And they sounded like a goddamn horse with all this damn smacking. What in the entire hell was that? <laughs> yeah, bitch. Yeah, man. This nigga got miscellaneous out of your showing up and shit. But they asked me a question about table etiquette. And I told them I, I will eat properly at a table. And they just do not believe me. Why don't y'all guys believe me? Properly? No, this is this was a conversation. How it went, ladies and gentlemen. We was sitting over here grazing on some chips. You know, when you're drinking and eating, you know, I'm stuffing chip. D, he got his, he got some food over there. He said he ain't ate all day. <laughs> so he grubbing, you know what I'm saying? He getting the fingers all in there with the ketchup and everything. And uh, you went to talk about people smacking. Yes, because that fucking hurts me to hear and, people uh, smacking. I said... When can you ever let your hair down and eat good versus when you around your boys? That's the, the hey, I'm not trying to look good and, and eat. impress nobody <laughs> while I'm eating my food. <laughs> if I'm around my guys, they know every my every move. Yeah. So, yeah. So I mean you said I fucking hate smacking. Well, I have, your ears. I have had this oh, conversation with oh, my mother oh, before. <laughs> This is the kitchen. You eat in the kitchen. It's chilling in the room. I know, but see, I was in here. I was in here working so on some podcasts, though. In the kitchen, you can expect some smacking, some finger licking, some of that. You know what I'm saying? We in the south, bro. But he had like we around Donald Trump or somebody. Man, fuck Donald Trump. Okay, then. <laughs> Shit, but I still know how to eat properly at a fucking table. How do so. you eat properly? Right. Well, for one, you don't eat with your elbows on the table. Okay. Then Two, you eat. You eat with your back straight. Okay. You don't be sitting what over a slouch over and shit, huh? What is this hurt? It's just bad table etiquette. How? How? Tell me how. Okay. I mean, say for the white folks said. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Just say for you might have your uh, your elbows on the table or whatever you eating, right? You okay. Like All right. You got just like you got your elbow on the table. And all of a sudden you got to make a quick move or you make a quick move and boom. Now your elbow done knocked your cup off. Well, but if your elbows are not on the table, you don't have to worry about that extra space. Since so we're talking so about. telling me my hand right here, I can't knock the damn cup off. You can knock the cup off with your hands. I'm not saying that part. So what's the difference? What's the difference? It's, it's, it's just bad for the type of etiquette. Who, why, who said why? Huh? Why, who sense? invented it? I don't know who invented it. I just know I was taught table etiquette. You, if nobody tell you this, would you think something wrong with this? Probably. You probably would? Yeah, I probably would. Get the fuck out of here. I probably so, would. Listen, but now, listen my to me. Whole thing, now, hold, my whole thing is this. <laughs> what, what, what the straw that broke the camel back for me was when we were talking about eating chicken. Yeah. And he said he no, would eat chicken not, with a knife and fork. Who does a, that? Not just a certain piece of chicken. A leg at that. A leg? How you going to pick up a leg? With a knife and with a, a fork. I mean, how you going to eat it with a knife and a fork? Ain't nothing but one way to get it. Get in there. And on that thigh. And don't don't mention no bricks. You, wait a minute. Hold on. You probably one of them niggas that eat your greens with your fingers, don't you? Look. I don't eat them with my finger, but but, but now I have, and that's the best way to get in there with that cornbread that's the and them greens. Shit in the world, I mean, <laughs> like, do you, do you, bro, like I'm gonna tell you something, bro. I seen my mama do this one time, and no offense to you, mama, because I know you old school, but I seen my mama do this shit at a fucking Piccadilly one day, where she mashed up the cornbread and shit, and she would twist them finger, eating like that. I'm like that. That shit looks like animalistic type of shit, but. Hell no. Uh-uh. I'm that's cool your, with that's it. That's your ancestors. But if you really don't give a fuck, like, you gonna eat. Say, for instance, I don't give a fuck if I'm in a public place. place. Yeah. If I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna eat. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna eat. 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 Like, I'm gonna eat.
Oh, they looking at me. I don't give a fuck who looking, how they looking. I'm smashed. I paid for this. I I got a prime. I got another example. Okay. Check this out. What's up? You around a girl you just met. Mm hmm. You not about to do too much shit, too much in front of her. You gonna eat a proper way? Yeah. You gonna eat your chicken with a fork and knife? No, not me. You probably you, won't. I will. Yes. You not going to fart around this motherfucker. You not going to do nothing around this motherfucker. Until y'all get by three, mo- three months strong. You going to be farting. You going to be burping. You going to be shitting in front of her and all that type of shit. So, you mean you tell me? So, you not? What? Would I fart in front of the girl that I have now? No. I would get up and go into the bathroom and release my flatulence. And then come back the fuck out. <laughs> your your poop. Yeah, my poop, my fart. For, for people that don't know what that my is, my ass belching or whatever you want to call it. I mean, I'm know. not saying <laughs> right off the muscle though. I'm saying I'm saying wrong the, right I mean, like I just feel like that. That's some shit that I don't care to do. I was talking about ladies to let this shit out. You can get your ass up, go to the bathroom. Don't be leaving all that stank and shit hey, for everybody to smell, man. My, my, you know what I'm saying? The woman who told me. Nah, I ain't gonna say I ain't never did it. Let that shit out. I ain't gonna say I ain't never did it. Let that shit out. It's better out than in. So you mean to tell me. More room out than in. You gonna hold that shit. Let's say, man, you're in the car with your girl. You gotta fart real bad. He gonna have a heart attack. No, I wouldn't. (laughs) (laughs) No, I wouldn't. I'll pull the car over and stop at the gas (laughs) 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 station. I will. This <laughs> motherfucker done veered off the road, crashed into somebody, <laughs> trying to hold up food. For real. Hey, what that is, you smoke? Huh? What that is, you, cu- you smoke? I don't smoke. So but see now, but see now, <laughs> no. but see now, you uh, know, a cigar. you know, a cigar. especially you when you rolling and you fart, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, unintentionally, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, when you rolling down the road. You could blame that shit on a whole lot of stuff. Like, damn, what the fuck that come from? So we were going to Texas. And you know I kept what I mean? About all that goddamn skunk shit. Was that you over there fart? In that particular <laughs> instance, in that particular instance, no, it wasn't. But okay, okay, no tips. You know what I'm saying? You could have. It could have been. If I had, you wouldn't have known no difference. No, I wouldn't know the difference now. You know what I'm saying? But and man, then the quickest way to release that shit, if you fart. Is, and you in the car with somebody, and you say it's cute, but you let all them windows down, it's gone. It's gone. So, so let me ask you a question. So, <laughs> if, if you don't give a <laughs> shit about it. Who one of y'all niggas fart? Not now. You talking all that shit, you gonna let it fart out doing the show? Doing yeah, the no. show. Put it off. Bro, don't put that. Oh, hell no. no. Y'all motherfucking crazy as hell, man. Ain't nobody fired around this motherfucker. And yes, I did say fired it. Go ahead. Oh, oh, really? Y'all gonna, y'all gonna try to put that on me like that? That <laughs> nah. is fucked up. Nigga, IBL. I ain't got no fucking Arabile. What? What is IB, it? IBS. I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna say Arabile. I would say IBL. <laughs> but no, man, hell no. Like, why would you say excuse me then if it wasn't something improper about it? No, uh, that's just. just, I, that's just the smell, but I'm not excusing the fact that I had to fart. Yeah. I'm sorry you got smell it, but I ain't sorry I fought it. Mm. Right. I can walk by him right now. On the behind his chair and won't touch him, won't even touch his chair. And I ain't gotta say excuse me, but I'm gonna say it. You did? Yeah, yeah. That's you saying that more so in in the, in the sense of like, excuse me, let me get by. Oh, but but he, he's saying, no, he's I'm saying I can get straight by. Yeah. But see, that's still, like, that's, that's, that's still like that's that's still like a like a like a what you call it, like a space violation. It, it, you know it, what I'm saying? It, it's just like if you walk in a club. He, you he, could, didn't, he didn't really do nothing to me. You yeah, know? I know, but I'm not he talking about that. He said he's sorry for having to go by. He just said, hey, bro, I'm sorry for. Have to get so cold and get on by. Right, so that's what I'm saying. So if you fought, I'm sorry, I have to let this motherfucker out in front of you. Why would you say excuse me? I'm telling you. I'm sorry, I'm I have sorry, to let it out. Gotta you gotta smell it. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't that I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. It's just, it's just, excuse you, this. you know, excuse me. Excuse this smell, but don't excuse the action. Well, my thing is. So like why when a motherfucker sneeze, they say bless you, and then the person that sneeze, they say excuse me. What, what the fuck is bless you? I don't know what the fuck that is. I, I, you the guy. No, no, no. You what, know everything I, else about no, no, no. I, I will admit to this. I do not know why people say bless you when you sneeze. I have no idea why that goes on. But I do know why they say excuse me because you are spewing out all kind of bodily fluids out in the in the in the area. Tell me when you sneeze. Yeah. No, but motherfucker no, sneeze like you. this. No, actually, when sneeze. you sneeze, you actually supposed to sneeze into your right. into your and arm. When like I this. sneeze, I don't say excuse me. When I sneeze, you say bless you, and I say thank you. I say Gazoon because I don't like y'all niggas having time. So why, so why when I put my body fluids in the air, 
I don't say excuse me for this. But, but nigga, you put your body older in the air when you let, you, yeah, when you come out your asshole with that fart, it's something coming out of your body. So motherfuckers, and a lot of you motherfuckers, so motherfuckers need laxatives any goddamn way. So motherfuckers <laughs> can walk around musty all day, breath stinking, and just walk around saying excuse me all day. They can. I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> <laughs> now a motherfucker gonna say something about that though. Just like a motherfucker gonna say something about you farting. Hey, but motherfucker, okay, all right, motherfucker me... ain't gonna too much come up to you and let you. Now, if a motherfucker do come up to you and say, bro. My nuts funk, excuse me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> 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 if a motherfucker do come up to you and tell you that, hey, bro, you stink, bro. That means they at the point where they just can't you take, take it no more. You feel me? They gonna let you slide the first couple times, like. Oh, he might have had a rough morning. He ain't, he ain't hit that shower. If somebody come up to you and be like, listen, bro. You got to do something about it. That means, bro, I'm at the point where, listen, I can't even be around you, fam. Hey, bro. Now, like, everybody has probably had to go through that. No. <laughs> it's, yes. No. Hell yeah. And, I agree. And, and the thing about it is, you really don't, because really that's kind of. That's offensive, Nick. It's, no, it's embarrassing not for me, but because I have to deal with it. So for me to be like, hey, bro. And then have you ever offered like somebody some gum and they breath stinking? And, and they be like, like no. Nah, I'm good. Shit. I'm like, no, nah, nah, bro, bro. You, you ain't need these motherfuckers good. Thinking, <laughs> and then I respect that. If anybody offered me some, you know, some shit like that, I'd be like, yeah. You telling me some shit. Because yeah. you tell him, I don't, look, I ain't hurt to offend. Yeah. In that respect. But I, 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 I would tell a motherfucker, because I've had to deal with it, you know, for his work related where I'm. <laughs> motherfucker came in wasn't smelling quite right first time like you say you let it slide you know like okay they might be having a little rough time but if i keep smelling two three days i'm finna pull it to the side come here look i don't know what's going on at home excuse me but but uh excuse me uh, no ain't no excuse me with that shit hey come excuse. here for a minute excuse me what's going on uh let me talk to you for a sec i don't know what you got going on at the crib i don't know if your water off you out of soap or what but you need to start washing your ass now this don't make no goddamn sense. You walking here smelling like some guy got somebody horse's ass around here. So is that not proper etiquette? I mean, no, that's that, that's that, very is improper. That not in, is that improper etiquette? That is very improper right. etiquette for me to see it that way. I'm saying for me to be smelling like that for you to, is that improper? Like no, the, like the improper etiquette is not telling this motherfucker that they smell like this. Because I'm saying like see I, there you go with your elbows uh, on the table. I'm here in Africa. You stink if you smell good. Like I heard in some places in Africa they. They embrace the smell of must. Well, I mean, that's but some primitive have- type shit where they was like, you know what I'm saying, women are attracted to the natural odor of a man. But uh, if I smell a bitch that's stinking, I am not attracted to that. Is that us? Have that's becoming, us having clean have water become, and soap, oh, nigga. Have becoming westernized. Right. You know what I mean? Come think about other point of time when you ain't had no deodorant. You ain't had deodorant? You didn't, I mean, you took... You you, you, you did they natural. They, they no choice. <laughs> but no, you didn't. I don't you think people just walked treat. around funky. <laughs> but, think about it. but people people took it was all natural. So now the things that we're using, as far as even soap, uh, toothpaste, no. uh, detergent, with all these dead gum chemicals. That's what I was just about to say. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But we it. thinking it's 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 good because it's keeping us in a nice fragrance. But is it killing us? Is it natural though? Cause think about it. Do anybody in the dog owners? Have you ever been a dog owner? Yeah. I worked at a vet here. Do you ever wash a dog? What the first thing they do? Get a, go to goddamn go shirt. straight to the dirt um, and roll, roll up in, in the shit. dirt. Yeah. They're like this shit ain't. This, this ain't, ain't right. You know I like, I mean? hey, you I need this dirt this back on, on me. <laughs> yeah, but that's a that's dog. A though. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking about it. We just been, my, you've been. You been getting your ass bathed before you were able to bathe your own ass. But nigga, I ain't out there rolling around in the dirt. But that's what I'm saying. What, what little yeah, kids yeah. you know don't goddamn go in the house, they mama and shit bathe them, and this goddamn pouring down rain outside. That little kid get the chance to goddamn run his ass out the door. Gone. They gone straight to the goddamn mud. Because you right. know what they Where attracted to? Niggas raised they it. attracted to nature. <laughs> you attracted to nature. Nigga, once I washed my ass, I was not going you back outside. You wouldn't know what the hell you did when you were three. Or two? Nah, dog. Uh, nah, dog. I, I got people that can vouch for this. I when I got my ass washed, I I that didn't go, sound right. I was goddamn it. 
Yeah, it is. He probably was eating mud pies. What are you know, motherfucking mud, mud pies? pies. <laughs> but my mom, she was getting ready to go somewhere. Like, we might have a family event or something. I was, I said, you I, fresh I, to I be probably, I probably been playing all day. But mom said, it's time to go. So I go get fresh. You know what I'm saying? Take, put my good clothes on. Get over there. Like, I'm not going to hoop. You know what I'm saying? I know they over there playing ball. I ain't going to play football. I ain't going to do nothing. So I get mad as I know I just got to shower by an hour or two. Hoping. First thing, don't even think about it. no food, <laughs> no drink, <laughs> don't even go speak to nobody. That ball bouncing, or oh, they throwing that motherfucker. I out tell. There. I tell. It was, it was like, you trying to fight the urge. But you can't. You can't. We used to get out of church. Out of church. Y'all would and like, I may, I, no, I may, I may go like, you know, after church, you may go, uh, a home with one of your friends at the church or something. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't bring no no change of clothes or something like that. They go into the court. I'm out there in church, clothes. church shoe. Oh, I just yeah. asked you, was you out there hooping in your church shoe? Oh, you yeah. Because, like, think about when you were young and your mama used to tell you, don't be out there in your good clothes. You ain't give a fuck about no good clothes. No, I, I did. Good from I did. I kept a change of clothes with me. Your mama didn't tell you the change of clothes. Uh, I did. Be out there playing in them goddamn clothes. Nah, serious but, business, but, bro. But then what you saying, the mind frame. See, you know see now you, you wouldn't do that. You, you wouldn't do that. You ain't supposed to be giving a fuck about no clothes. You just no. Just be out here. Just out here. Living. Living. Living like a mother. In nature. So, man, look, anyhow. <laughs> let me just tell y'all the goddamn truth. You like, you like how shit is now. What? You like having a... Man, look here, man. Let me tell you something. I am not, and I repeat, am not finna be walking around this motherfucker with my ass funky and be around nobody with they ass funky. Neither am I. Neither am I. No, I'm saying back well, in the no, day. We just saying, saying, saying back in the saying. day. Saying of course yeah. not. We ain't gonna I'm do that saying, now. Like, just think about a woman that got big titties. The 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 titty meat that that touches the chest, that shit stink. Because it's, it, we are we are goddamn trained to to respond to that in a negative light. You know, so you go, one, but if you was, was in one Africa, one time, it was one one time it was just, it wasn't no stink. It was just how you was. Motherfuckers said, like motherfucker said that shit stink. They just didn't have no cure for it back then. Let me, <laughs> let me, 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 let me ask you this. I can't get it off the top. Let me, let me, let me ask you this. What's up? What you got? If your woman, mm-hmm, was the bread woman, mm-hmm. All she told you to do was, hey, you sit at home, I'm paying all the bills. Oh, shit. Here we go. You know what I mean? She working at the lumber yard. I'm going to answer this question for you and spit it out. She come home smelling like sawdust. Motherfucker, I'm going to put two things of tissue, rolls of tissue in my goddamn nose, and it's showtime. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. You got to finish that question because now... I, you know what? No, you ain't got to finish that quick. Yeah, be, no, Cause it all depends on what you talk no, about. Like that, they got to know. Well, yeah. if 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 that's what she that's that's real right there. Yeah. If that if she's the if she's a bread one and she her hygiene so come her, in provider. You know what I'm saying? In the door, and she may, you may be like, hey, first thing, motherfucker, good. You know, cause women have that, done me like that. Yeah, done you like what? You know what I'm saying? On the flip side. Wait, you may be out hooping, sweaty, football, and they jump on you, football you or whatever. And be like, once I, I went home, it was a wrap. And they be like, I go to the house. And they be like, you know, I'm you be like, you that know, I wanna I wanna get a shower. Funny. You know, let me get a shower. They be like, I don't care. I feel you because I ain't no more. I don't, I don't care. care. Those were some we filthy excuse my languages when I say that. Those were some filthy bitches that was I'm out saying, there. But it, it was like circumstances like my mama didn't play like that. You know what I'm saying? Once I got home, it's over with. So, nigga, y'all didn't have showers at the goddamn field house and that? Man, wasn't nobody that goddamn taking no showers around oh, that damn 700 niggas? niggas? Yeah, no, you can wait till you, you, you get home. get old, you know what I'm saying? I guess in the NFL, they do that shit and shit like that. I don't know. But hey, they we probably got private shit. High school, yeah, so y'all just walk around here. Y'all just with sweaty balls getting them something. Go to the next class period, knowing that I just got the hoop. We under, Man, exactly. Everybody my did first, that. <laughs> my first period was PE, motherfucker. Everybody did that. Hooping. So I gotta go to goddamn six, six more goddamn classes smelling like sweat. After the, even after the games, you wasn't going no damn shower. You go in there and change, put your motherfucking clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want for, before pregame, you oh, put your shit, shit yeah, back on. You, you got plan for now? You going to the house, going to a little party yeah. or something? Or you, nah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it like this. Now, I'm gonna say it like this. If you know you got one of them street pants at the football game. You not going to the house. I don't give a fuck who you is. <laughs> going in motherfucking house. You not coming back out. Mm-hmm. Who you might do? 
Hey, what you say last week? That part of the problem, y'all stinking ass niggas. Man, listen. Man, I had to get, get one. Hey, of them. I, don't know <laughs> one time, hey, I pulled my shit out. I was nervous one time, like, man, I'm fresh out of football, pregnant. I don't know. And I she went to work. I my eye closed. That bitch went crazy on my shit. So let me ask you a question. If you if your woman every day I'm football. All right. If your <laughs> she likes something about it, dog. She likes something about oh, it. Man. So let me ask you a question, D. Let's flip this. No, yo, don't yo, flip. <laughs> your woman. Keep behind here. This. Keep behind here. This is a one way street. So, so you ain't gonna eat no tangy pussy. But you want somebody to, sw- to, to suck I your did. sweaty ball. You did. did. He didn't want it. He, he did. did. She would have said, hell no, I understand. Yeah. But she feel the same way I feel. Listen, he ain't forcing I gotta get. I got to get. She like, listen, I understand the circumstance. You got to get your shit. I want it just as bad as you. We just go and get it for our mama come home when it's over with. I learned the miracle of baby wipes. Oh, you learned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At what age? Yeah. And what age? Yeah. I, I was carrying around um, baby wipes for a long time. Saying, no, like, please tell me a, what age. It was always an age. I probably started probably about eight, nine years old. It was that high demand. Like, it, was all, it, was, it, it was a point in your life where you reached that age where all you thought about was pussy. That's true. Like, you didn't give a fuck about nothing <laughs> else. I remember one time, I, I, listen, I stole my mama's car for some why you whisper the shit? Wait a minute, why you whisper the shit? Like your mama in here. think she listening. <laughs> you never want but your you, to know. But you said it on camera. <laughs> I can't be telling what I said. Y'all go ahead. Well, you already told now. Nah. Uh, Finish the story. Yeah, my mama went out of town. Oh, man, she was right on. And she knew better. Because she told me, don't you touch my truck. Without taking the keys, though. I said, yeah, man. Without taking the motherfucking keys. Yes, ma'am. She knew she fucked up before she left. Now let me now let me ask you this. <laughs> Damn. Now let me ask you this. When she left and she left the keys, did you leave immediately? <laughs> immediately? <laughs> or you waited till she you knew she was too far? Or you wait or you waited till you knew she was gone? Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> you know I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, cause I was watching. I'm like, oh, she gonna leave the keys. Oh, she leave the keys. She left the keys. Damn. I'm gone. Come lock the door. She left the key. Ooh, I had my phone. Let me get ready. Let me get ready. Wait. Pull up. Y'all niggas so I here. I got a mama car and I got a car. I believe it. I got a car like a motherfucker. Somebody snitched on you. I'm in the bitch house. And, man, boy, this is how I knew this bitch. God forgive me. This is how I knew this bitch was a hoe. <laughs> this is how I knew this bitch was a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how I knew this bitch was a hoe, fam. <laughs> I got caught in this bitch house. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my, I'm, I'm doing my thing. And knock on the door. Come on out y'all smell it. I smell it. Smell like sick. I'm like, damn, she knows. Outside the door? <laughs> it's all off. I'm wondering so, what that was. It smell she like. Fucking cooking with. Let me tell you what happened. She knew we was in there fucking because she cut the door lock. She all make new. Mm. Oh. But the one I'm saying, that I knew she was a hoe because she automatically knew just about it. Like, damn. She, uh, I get in the closet. This bitch goes out the window. But guess what? Her auntie at the window waiting on her ass. So, I'm yeah, like, she done did it before. I'm like, bitch, yeah. <laughs> she, she done, done did it before. She, <laughs> she already know what's going on. Oh, auntie at the back window waiting on her like, yo, we got your ass. She been running niggas up out there. That you ain't no first time. That ain't no first time. <laughs> Cause think about it, as soon as Grand knock on the door, she know what's going on. Auntie y'all already at the back of the house. Action. I'ma tell y'all so, so. So I get oh, in the okay. closet, I put the clothes, like I got some clothes like in front of me in the closet, hoping she, she looking dead at me, but she don't but you, see me. But but you the clothes in front of you, but your feet still open at the bottom. <laughs> she was an old lady, you know, so she was a real old lady, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't wanna just spit. So you, you know were fucking in our house. Come on out of there, just don't come. It was cool. It was cool. That thing, you know. The girl, you know, some you know my uncle. He well connected. The girl ended up telling my telling somebody knew my uncle told my uncle got caught like a motherfucker. So my mama come home. She knew I stole the motherfucking truck. Mm-hmm. And when I had to realize I got gone by my own. But everything happened for a reason, because if that wouldn't have happened, I wouldn't have probably be, 
I was just like, fuck, I'm gonna one day drive my mama. Shit. My mama said, you ain't gonna never, ever touch my shit again. God damn. Knew it was over. What you, what, you say you, say you <laughs> had something to tell her, Cam? What you got? See, I ain't had that problem with leaving my house. See, I don't know. A lot of girls in my generation, them motherfucking savage. You feel me? Them yeah. motherfucking leave your house. I don't give a fuck. It's over with. Mama, you ain't talking about shit. And then, I ain't have my mama on my back at all times. Tess can tell you, you know what I'm saying? My mama is a gambler. She gonna go to the goddamn casino. Instead, the goddamn casino all goddamn night. Don't tell your mama business like that. Mama, you go to the casino to this day. You've been knowing it <laughs> since I was goddamn in the <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> I ain't had no problem with goddamn sneaking nobody in. They coming in when they get ready. They gonna leave when they get ready. Mama probably leave at 8 o'clock. Won't show up to goddamn 4 mm-hmm. o'clock in Just the goddamn keep, keep, morning. Keep so going. shit, it's mm-hmm. showtime. You did. So I ain't had no problem with sneaking, sneaking in nobody's house really, but most of the time they was over there at my crib. Yeah, cause that crib was the spot. It, it, right, right now that's today, a, to this day, shame. pull up on the north side. You did pull up on the north. It's Man, going down. I ain't never had the luxury of being able to sneak a bitch in, out, or nothing. First thing for her, yeah, the little road I lived on, we was all some kids some kind of goddamn way. Oh, you see, over there incest. <laughs> no, the fuck I wouldn't. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you what's, what's the most embarrassing thing happened to me since we telling these damn uh, sex stories while we were younger. I uh, I used to get fucked up. Wait a minute now, where this story going? And, uh, you know, you could take a girl home, but back then... Uh, I, I I thought I was gonna just knock them off and, and and leave, take them on home at my folks' crib. So I would never even take them back there to the bedroom. You know, my folks they were a little older, so I know they was back there sleep. But my dumb ass, I'm thinking I'm gonna go in there and knock them off in there in the den floor and pass the fuck out. Nigga, you fucking in the living room floor? Drunk as a motherfucker. Wake up! I'm talking about like on a Saturday night. I don't Sunday up. morning, Grandma gonna get ready, to get go to up church. ready, go to church. I'm in the middle of the flow, buck naked. Really, bro? You know how embarrassing that is. They should have whooped your ass. I got put out. <laughs> <laughs> I got put out the house. That's the only. That's the only repercussion for that. About yeah, three times. Ain't no way, dude. Yeah, your your daddy should not be seeing you, your you, naked nuts. You think? This, this is a hotel. <laughs> you good. Get the get out. Get out. But now look, hey, I'm the, to be honest, I did those things, but thank God my folks didn't hold grudges or didn't bring up old stuff because it was over. You know, after I got the girl out of there, and I came back to the house. Yeah, or something like that. I ain't even really heard nothing else about. Let me it. ask you this one question. Did you regret it? Nah, I mean, nah, I mean, it was life. No, I'm asking, was it good enough for you to be like... Oh, if I took a motherfucker to the crib, oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a, uh, it must have been good because yeah, you yeah, passed yeah, out, yeah, nigga. <laughs> now, but, the, but, but, <laughs> now, I'm, but now, hold up, but, but, now, hold, but now, hold up. This the, this the only thing that was, like, the first time it happened. I'm just going to say, I ain't, I hope. Jesus, don't, I don't want to put my parents out there like that. Cause these, I got some good parents. But Great. my daddy, he was in there going live. Going live. Mama, she was over there kind of stickling. You know, I, she wasn't happy about it, but she was like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, damn, seems like daddy would have been proud. Like, hey, my son over there beat <laughs> <laughs> He getting it in, you know. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I hey, tried man, to do it Pop, one time. I'm gonna tell y'all, Papa is not going, dog. He ain't, he going, did, he ain't he proud ain't of going. nothing that you do. You get a good job making $34 an hour, he gonna say, Negro, you could have been playing sports. <laughs> yep. Could been doing something. I, tra- been I ain't gonna lie to you. I, tra- I tried to get one girl to get down. She the bus down in my mama house, but she wouldn't do it. I tried my damnness in the bathroom. She just wouldn't do it. But that was one of the few that actually met my mama. 
Mama, you hear this story? Yes, I tried to fuck in your bathroom, but she wouldn't let me do it. Well, it ain't too late. You can call up and say. Nah, I ain't going down there fucking. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Nah, I'm straight. I got I got my own crib to go in and make sex magic behind. So we good. That's because I had respect for my parents. What? <laughs> just a little public service announcement for all the parents out there. No matter, I just want to let y'all know, no matter how good you think you know your child, no matter how good of a relationship you think you got with your child, there's some shit that you don't know and will never know about your child. I'm going to tell you that from the door. Because I know some motherfuckers that did some shit and they mama think they the goddamn boy. Who is you telling? Angels. Boy, who is you telling, dog? My son, your son would do what? My son, my son did that. Shit. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> Terrorizing the school. You coming out there? What y'all doing, my son? My son. Your son down here fucking the school up. <laughs> Listen, it came to a point where motherfuckers say I'm doing good. Motherfuckers look at me like. Bitch, you lying. That motherfucker ain't did shit good because motherfuckers already know the truth. Like, you tell me, you tell the motherfucker I burnt down the goddamn house. They're going to be like, yeah, he did it. Mm. I ain't even surprised. There ain't nothing to be surprised about. Hey, man, y'all y'all all right? Y'all y'all shooting them shots pretty goddamn hard. Oh, man, we're going to shoot another one. Y'all need to talk about some? Well, hell, y'all getting it on out. Keep going. One of the things about it is, uh, this is the Sip City Podcast. This ain't the Shot City Podcast. It's not called Sip City for Y'all starting to no scare me. No good reason. You trying to sip a little bit. Oh, I, he want one. That's all it is. Go grab one of them things for him. You didn't no. want one? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't it. No. 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 He feeling out of place. You, you, you looking out of place. You looking like you really want to hit one of these motherfuckers. No, no, I do not. I just, I just realized that I need to find some better friends. That's what I just oh, realized. Oh, wow. <laughs> What kind of friend you, you want to hang around with? You guys are bad influences, I say. Some motherfucker who influenced me to drink. No, I didn't. What kind of friend is he? I'm saying, what I'm kind of... I'm talking about, try this here. Try this little here. Oh, this shit got this. Yeah. Taste. Oh, yeah. Do you... Do you, you came from the barrel. Do this you, came from a, that's a because, 1996 oak barrel. That is because you, I'm you, a liquor connoisseur. Listen, 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 do you taste the cinnamon notes? Oh, that shit. Motherfucker, I just taste liquor. You the drunk in this goddamn... I'm a connoisseur. I'm not a drunkard. And let's just be real... For the people who don't know, <laughs> Mr. Terrence here, he's the CEO of this show. He came up with the name <laughs> Sip City. What y'all think you were talking about? Sip. I was talking about Mississippi. The reason I put the sip in it. No, this Sip City, Mississippi. In it because of Mississippi. No, I didn't. You spell sip S I P. P. S I P. P. P is for to sip your motherfucking tea. <sighs> Wait a minute now. Hey. You all right? But I got something to talk about. What you got? Just get off your chest. All right. Have you ever, I'm going to ask you, Mr. Mr. Terrence. All right. Have you ever had some, you know what I'm saying, had something going on at an event? At an event. And people that you know from back home, you live away from out of town now. Mm-hmm. You live away from out of town. Mm-hmm. And people just pop up because they in the city. Mm-hmm. Would you get offended about it? But I get offended that I'm in that I'm in the city and people you just throwing, pop up. You throwing something at your crib mm-hmm. and people just pop up. But you already know them from back home though. So you probably wouldn't even be offended because you like. But hey, but you up? but you living out of town. So they popping yeah. up at your crib out of town. Yeah. But you throwing a big gathering, you did. And they just popping up, no invite, no nothing. Yeah, they just popping up, no invite, no nothing. But it you depends know what on I'm if I like But it ain't no private party or nothing like that either though. Now it all depend on if I'm cool with them. If I'm cool with you, I don't care. But if I don't cool, if I ain't cool with you like that, I mean, uh, off my cool. premises, you ain't gotta be cool with them. You don't know. Them. I mean, you know them, and they cool, they cool mm-hmm. to a certain extent. But you might not kick it with them on a daily basis. That's all I'm saying. But I mean, if so you they just pull up, you know what I'm saying. I mean, but I mean, it's, it's some kind of way you got some type of dealings with them because, but y'all just not on that level. But I mean, that ain't too bad. Ain't no beef or nothing. No, ain't no beef or nothing like that. But shit, it's still straight, though. All right, so I got something to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, we not here for a fight night. Oh, shit. I know where you're going with this shit. No, we right here. Right here. Emperor. Oh, my God. I know where this is going. (laughs) Go ahead. Keep going. Can I keep going? Keep going. Right here. 
So we got some elderly women. I'm gonna call y'all elderly. You did mm-hmm. like you it. Elderly, women. elderly, we elderly, elderly, not older. Ancient motherfuckers. Yes, <laughs> that way. <laughs> that way. So you know what I'm saying? We doing it pretty. Look, <coughs> steaks. We cooking. Done cooked the goddamn 500 steaks. So motherfucker walking through this motherfucker with no invite. Did some big ass plates and shit. Okay. To go. Motherfucker won't even goddamn sit down and eat. They fixing to go plates. <laughs> Bitch, you just so walked in the up. door. So they pull up. There was there was T E Z holler. Who the fuck invited all these old ass bitches? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Indian. Who the fuck was that? I don't think you was. I don't think you were hanging with us at the time. When was this? Fixing all the steaks the, and the, shit. The, the, the Mayweather Mc, uh, McGregor fight. What the fuck was that on this shit? It was thick. And it was, uh, it was I'm, I'm gonna tell you what. I was. I was full. But and they were beyond full. Nigga. Now it shouldn't have came. I, you know, when you get drunk, shit, you 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 will you say tell some the truth. Shit. We talked about that last episode. <laughs> But for the lady that heard that, that's not really how I think about you. But you know, listen, it was some bullshit, and y'all was some old bitches compared <laughs> to the bitches that was here. Now, I'm gonna say something one more thing, Terry. All right. Now, Triple Bean, why that bitch coming out talking about some McGregor? Wake up, wake up, McGregor, wake up. No, bitch, I'm not McGregor. I'm Mayweather. You dig? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mayweather. You dig? Man, hell yeah, nah, man. Y'all nigga crazy as hell. Mm. Oh, my oh, God. I'm behind. I'm behind. Come on with it, bro. It's it shit smooth, know, too, ain't it? You don't stop all that goddamn smacking, we're going to have a goddamn problem. There you go. We just talked about table etiquette. So, look, that's what I was getting to, but y'all changed the story. It's not proper to be fucking drinking without soap under your glass. You drink well, see, I have a stainless steel canteen that does not sweat, so it will not leave a ring. God, well, damn. so now just, the, <laughs> thing, the, the thing, the thing about the thing about what's gonna happen is this: <laughs> you know, everybody is gonna do something that somebody else don't agree with, right? That's true. So, all the time, what's gonna happen is. You gonna make us start paying attention to everything you do. I don't give a shit. Every little detail. And call you out on every fucking little thing that you do. Give, you know what I'm saying? On your bullshit. So, in other words, my bullshit is on display. Man. Don't do it. What they say? Your bullshit. Cause you, is your shit, bullshit. your shit ain't motherfucking roses. I know that. Your shit ain't that goddamn. And roses clean. actually stink too. Man, so I know. My, um, but I'm just saying. But I just, it's just something. That's just something about me that smacking fucking hurts me. <clears throat> I will hang up the phone with my mama when she's eating and be like, call me back because all this smacking is bothering me. I wasn't smacking. Did anybody molest you at the table? No, they did not, sir. <laughs> <laughs> anybody I, the table? No, I just cannot stand smacking. Smacking to me is like... Somebody smacked his ass up some guy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hey, you see where, you see where that fucking gone last night? You went to doing this. <laughs> God damn, what you use them hands for? Smack it? Loud ass hands. <laughs> God damn right, you scared them up a little bit. <laughs> Hell no, nah, man. See, I just I just do not like smacking. I can't stand it. Like, I have literally stopped dating a female because she smacked. Yeah, the fuck right. What yes. You, what, you, what you will have to do is this. Bro, I'm like. And listen to this. I'm, I'm like fucked up. First shit, off, man. first off, she, she couldn't have had no good pussy. Couldn't have no good and her, and her feet had to stink. Oh, was it for, ugly? For you to worry about some goddamn okay. motherfucker smack. Okay, all right. Feet was ugly. Her I flaws don't give a were fuck. this. She had, she had three flaws that I could not stand. Okay. One, she smacked. Two, her second toe was longer than her big toe. And three, she had too many goddamn cheers. Oh, oh motherfucker! <laughs> no, 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 no! I didn't know she no, had all of them to a no, later hold date. up, wait a minute! Ain't none of them a, 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 a deal breaker. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. No. How many kids? How many? How many? How many? How many is too many? One, two. At this point in my life, that ain't too many. Yeah, that's 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 too many. Yeah
one was too many. many. <laughs> at this point, in my life, one is too many. I was younger back no, then, so I ain't want no bitch with no, no kids. One is not too many. No, I'm talking about you got. I, How I many younger. kids you got? Zero. How many kids you got? Zero. Zero. So I damn sure don't want to build up by them motherfucking kids. <laughs> I don't want to deal with nobody else's kids. If I got my own kids, I got to deal with my own kids. But sick. I don't want to deal with you your sick. kids. You sick. That's not a deal breaker. What? Not, not a deal breaker. Not, not for, for me. I can pussy. find somebody who ain't got no damn kids. Not, not, that not, that's not. rare. But yeah, no, you could. No, no, I ain't got no, I ain't got the first child. Yeah, you in an eighth grade classroom? Who, me? Nah, I'm fucking with you. You talking about a lot of women. I ain't got the first child. I got no kids. I ain't got no kids. But if you, if you, <laughs> if you fucking with a female dog, it don't matter how many kids she got, she get, but it's a certain extent, like, no, I'm not about to talk to this bitch on a certain level why she got goddamn six kids and I ain't got nail. I'm not about to take care I'm of your six kids. He's not, not mine. Take care of your one. Well, that's I, 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 not, I mean, that's just you. That's just you. That's yeah. you. That's you, and that's you. But really, no, 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 but, but, really but really, hold you up, know, hold up, check. hold up. Hold up, watch this, though. Hold, hold up, watch this. Watch this. I told you watch I didn't catch right. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, yeah my, it's, it could be. Just being honest. But man. watch this. We have to, I mean, because you're eliminating a lot of potential good women. Come on, brother Al. Versus. <laughs> If a woman, if you had, you know, multiple kids, a woman would accept you. You know what I'm saying? So we got to get out of that. You know what I'm saying? That it's that all y'all that would accept them. Yeah. Them like they <laughs> aliens. <laughs> that nigga didn't say that. He was like, there's a lot of y'all accept them. them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You were speaking for a certain group of women, but I know women who ain't going to fuck with you if you got a child. True. I know women who got this, you know what I'm saying? It's. Oh. No, no. I don't. I, I have not. I have not. I have not met one. One. I've been here. I've been here longer than you. But we do know. I've been here on this earth, and I have never met a woman that said that she wouldn't fuck with me because you had two kids. Two kids. Right now, she's not even gonna get to know you. Matter of fact, matter of fact, front of the door. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Oh, I got a child. Oh, bye. It's a deal breaker to win. To let motherfucker tree trunk fall out. Or to that big knot. I oh. mean, if you. If you not a hunter's goddamn. That'll change a motherfucker mind. Yeah, that'll change a motherfucker mind. Yeah, I mean. Okay. I mean, but not. But when you ain't. Which I ain't got no tree trunk, but I don't get that twisted. I mean, I ain't. Nigga, I don't want to hear about you your goddamn escapades. I mean, but that's that was, that was some real shit, though. Oh, shit like that. Man. It's it is is the rule of all you. It don't matter. You ain't got Floyd to. Do you ain't got to be Floyd. You ain't got to be fifty. You you Nigga, you, that, that, saying, you already know. But what, but the thing is though, it is women learn. out here that would deal with would not deal with dudes that got kids. So yeah, like, you got to know how to mac a motherfucking ass down. Man, ain't no macking out here no no more. Man, is you capped out? No, nah, ain't no macking no more, dog. Man, is you crazy? Everybody buying nowadays. Man, is you motherfucking crazy? They selling, we buying. They just be honest. It's a, I sell, motherfucker. It's a, it's a, it's a motherfucking seller's market. <laughs> I sell, motherfucker. It's a bull, it's a selling. bull market. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let me ask y'all a question. What, I do the selling. Okay. Man. All right. All right. All right. Let's ask this then. And then uh, we gonna we gonna we gonna finish up. Then we gonna go to break. But uh, I'm gonna ask you one question, and I'm gonna let y'all mull on. Then we come back for break. We gonna we gonna talk about it like this. Like I said, is they're selling, we're buying. I don't agree. I'm, I'm noticing that. I don't. <laughs> but I'm gonna let you get it out. I'm gonna let you, you get it out because I don't agree with you either. But do, I'm gonna let you get it out. Do you agree. honestly think that you literally can get a woman without having some type of stability within yourself? That's coming from I ain't got a goddamn penny. We're gonna mull on that. Then we're gonna go to break. Yeah, we're gonna come back from. We're gonna go to break. This is City Podcast. Ain't we'll be ain't got a penny. Hey. <laughs> I ain't got a penny. <laughs> hey, this nigga real now. I hope you ain't got. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, never go out like a lion, uh, I just had to get some chain, uh, now my life about to chain, uh, chop a bullet, make a sign, yeah. Chop a bullet, make a sign. Yeah. 
Had to step up, get my check up, don't come round if you went down I done took so many losses, I feel like the Cleveland Brown Had to boss up for that check up, that's the only way to shine All my nigga around me gangsters, but look in, he rap that nine Had to step up, get my check up, don't come round if you went down I done took so many losses, I feel like the Cleveland Brown Had to boss up for that check up, that's the only way to shine All my nigga around me gangsters, but look in, he rap that nine All of my life shit been fucked up, I had to boss up for a check, yeah, I was broke, I was living poor, but yeah, I still had no regret. I'ma go cop me a private jet, fuck a Mercedes or a Bentley Coupe, but I'ma die by my respect, and spend number real when I'm in the booth, you know it's my time, yeah, it's overdue, shit so sick, I think I got the flu, she know I stay gone, yeah, she know I'm on, now she going crazy, crazy for the crew, yeah, we'll connect it like a Bluetooth, uh, sneak this and we gon' find you, you wanna get on, I can sign you, you got your scrap, I got mine too, yeah, I ain't never had shit, I had to get up and go get it, uh, start it off, with a 50, uh, then I turned it to a business, uh, whipping it up like a chemist, uh, and go double it all when I'm finished, uh, whipping it up like a chemist, uh, and go double it all when I'm finished, uh, gotta make my mama proud, I'm uh, gotta speak the real, say it loud, can't sell myself, try and stunt for the ground, can go out like Bow Wow, uh, niggas all up in my face, uh, cause they know my time is now, uh, I done pray for better days, uh, don't come around if you ain't down, just step up, get my check up, don't come around if you ain't down, I done took so many losses, I feel like the Cleveland Brown, had the Boss up for that chick up, that's the only way to shine All my nigga around me gangsters, but look in, he rap that nine Had to step up, get my check up, don't come round if you went down I done took so many losses, I feel like the Cleveland Brown Had to boss up for that chick up, that's the only way to shine All my nigga around me gangsters, but look in, he rap that nine Right now is the time, all these years I had to grind I swear this road ain't been easy, I still go hard at time Always wanted fun will now we got fun with Chain for the fame, nigga. Came home doing shows on them. No buddies on the clothes on them. All we hold want money, so now I ain't starting no hoes. Every day we want the check, every day we want the cash. Walk in the store, no but money, you know we be popping tags. Used to scrape up for the meat, now my nigga smoking gas. I always knew this time was coming, now it ain't no looking back. Step up, get my check up, don't come round if you went down I done took so many losses, I feel like the Cleveland Brown Had to boss up for that check up, that's the only way to shine All my nigga around me gangsters, but look in, he rap that nine Had to step up, get my check up, don't come round if you went down I done took so many losses, I feel like the Cleveland Brown Had to boss up for that check up, that's the only way to shine All my nigga around me gangsters, but look in, he rap that nine Say you're wrong, I've been fucked up all along I keep singing the same song, guess it's time to change my tone But my pride's so damn big, they ain't got hope for the kid If I ever get a chance, I'll show them all what it is Everybody's got a past and everybody makes mistakes Would you still be my friends if I told you you were fake? No, cause these days nobody likes the truth I'm stuck in my ways, but it's time that I uproot I keep digging deeper holes, hoping I don't hit the sewer Used to think that I would do anything just for the suture But my favorite time is in the booth Just writing rhymes and getting loose 
I would never sit back and let you play me like a fool I'm too smart, I know the signs and I know all of the clues I've been blinded by your beauty, still can't let you stop this movement No, I can't let you stop this movement I've been running, 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 trying to get away I got a past that keeps hunting, it's full of mistakes A lot of failures that I hope I can look past one day But for now I get one win, I guess I'll have to take it I've been praying, 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 asking how I'ma make it Still hope that God will forgive me for things I've forsaken Demons trying to stop my grind, but they have mistaken I got way too much going, so it's my prime, I'ma make it This coming from me, I'm destined for greatness I've been blocking all these shots like I'm in the Matrix Like I'm in the Matrix, yeah Yeah, look I've been climbing, 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 trying to reach the top On the same path for so long, now it's no shoes, just socks I don't trust nobody, could never believe a cop They'll beat your ass, hope you fight back just to use the Glock I keep seeing minutes steady changing on the clock But time only flies when I'm running on the block Steady looking for my focus just to chase the guap Something's always in the way and now the gate is locked Fuck with too, yeah. Yo, we back up in this motherfucker Sip City Podcast after the break. Uh man. We had an interesting topic that we was talking about. And it was all about basically can a man get a woman without being stable or not having any type of stability? You fucking right. I can drink to this. You can drink to that. My my drink guy over here while RM Cam said, you know what I'm saying, before we took a break, that he was a Mac. A M A C. Mizak. You know what I'm talking about? Capital M A C. Capital M A C. So you macking like that, cuz, mm. like, shit. Tell me, tell me how you macking, motherfucker. Like, like what, you, what you got? I'm gonna just tell you one thing. Listen here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't funny, but listen. Everything glitter ain't gold. You did. You got it. Everything glitter ain't gold. I can show you, goddamn. I can show you a million dollars right now. Yeah. I can show that to a female or in general, but that don't mean it's my money. Yeah. But I guarantee you if I show a female a million dollars, she going to all of a sudden, she going to assume this is my money. And she going to be choosing. You did. So uh, you going to uh, you gonna have a bitch choosing you off of selling a drink? Man. Not necessarily yeah. because bitches I know they gonna call a nigga like me and we gonna come rob your motherfucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, you feel me? Get the fuck hey, you show a bitch a million dollars, you feel me? Right in these parts. You know what I'm saying? You go to the wrong area with that. She gonna oh lord, let me call. Listen, I'm, I'm just letting you know where I come from. I, I come from. I, I come from Killer Death. You know what I'm saying? Killer I come Death. from the most racist town in goddamn probably Mississippi. You did. Watch out now. No cap. Can you vouch for that? Mr. Philly, Mr. T-E-Z himself. Oh, yeah. Where you oh, from? Yeah. Most definitely. Where you no, from? No, where you from? Where you from? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. In the show of county. All you know right. What you know what they well, did? go now? down. You know yeah, what I'm saying? But, but, hey, one thing about it is. You know, there's a lot of gambling saying, going on down there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We It may be from the country, or you may be in the country, but that don't make you country. You know what I mean? It really do. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm, <laughs> hey, oh, I'm, gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something. It really make your country. You, know you right. It don't make. It, it don't make your country. I'm gonna tell you Make your country as a motherfucker. Let no, me tell I you don't. something, D. You D. country than I am. I went to uh, I went to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Me, Triple Bean, Sharonda, Shakira, Ad Motto. You know what I'm saying? I went up there. They said we was country. But one thing they couldn't say that we ain't have money. You did. Money talk. 
Hey, shit, that's how I be sometimes. But back to these hoes, though. Whoa, wow. Back to these women. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, trying to work on myself with this bullshit. Unstable creatures. You know what I'm saying? Back to these motherfuckers. Unstable creatures. <laughs> and my guy earlier, you know what I'm saying, TZ, yeah, he, he didn't like the way man. I said, you know what I'm saying, scheme. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But that ain't what I necessarily meant about when I said scheme. I meant like, you know what I'm saying, everybody got their way. Uh, on how they, you know what I'm saying, get themselves together. Went. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. Don't you got your style? Yeah. Or how you, you know what I'm saying, you appear? Yeah. Don't you got your way? How you, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own way of how they, whether it's some nigga might use money, some nigga might come to a female all uh, clever, yeah, yeah. some niggas might use the funny approach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's different ways that a nigga, you know what I'm saying, sell himself. Yeah. To this female Because it's what you're trying to get You feel me But so, how many niggas do you know Get a female Off a broke approach Off a broke approach Well I mean shit. Zero That's true Unless but, you got you a, uh, But you got you certain women That won't take care of a nigga But you got niggas But that shit ain't gonna last long That ain't even got a fucking car yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. But no, I, I don't know too many of them. T- I know some. Man, I, I know maybe know one or two, niggas. but not too, too, too many. I know a lot men. of niggas right now sitting with damn near ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars, or whatever the case it might be, in they bank account. They they ain't even got a car. Shit, what the fuck going on with them? What they they what they live on the job or some shit? No, but but ten ten thousand that they, they ain't really no what's they they ain't no real they, cheese they ain't no bread but they, they ain't but, no bread but they it's more no, money than a motherfucker but, that got that's paying the goddamn got, five hundred dollar car note a month and then he's still broke at the end of the month and these niggas still stacking that, up if so if that, what I'm saying, you mean if that motherfucker didn't have that car note but if that motherfucker didn't have that car note. He had hit by eight well, bands. Well, I tell that motherfucker to lose his car. <laughs> if that motherfucker, think about it. How much to lose his car. But how much money would you have if you didn't have I, a car? I don't understand what you're saying. You Take all your common payments and add them up. We, we, we spend money. <laughs> we, we, we spend money on a lot of unnecessary bullshit. Yeah, I would say that. To make motherfuckers look at us a certain type of way. Right. But Home. now, if we women don't... Women in particular? Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, women in Women particular. most importantly. But if we don't even have a car. We got some. And we got money. We spend our money on something, huh? A woman will still look at you that same way. No. Because she knows you, you got, got money. You ain't got no car. You're right. I'm just, long, yeah. as, long as you got... You ain't got no it. car. Think about it. If long she got a got car... Money. If she got a car... And I got, and I got cheese, but that's my car. Yeah, Cause that what? I, if some, if you my girl, know, but how if, she gonna know you got cheese if you never got the expose yourself to? Yeah, but sometimes, but sometimes, once you reading a certain, once you reach a certain level of, you know what I'm saying? Let's say for instance, I ain't got shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got a dollar to my name, mm-hmm. and I come up on a quick twenty. It's gonna be hard. It's hard for a nigga to hide that twenty. You gonna buy some. Yeah, yeah, you gonna no, show I off a little that. bit. Fuck that. You gonna fuck buy? That. You, I'm talking about you. You ain't got nothing. You come up on a quick twenty. You gonna try? You gonna spew, you gonna try to flip that money? But you gonna buy you some? No, you. For instance, you would buy a goddamn a pack of cigarettes. But nah, I ain't got no twenty dollars. No, I ain't talking about twenty dollars. I'm talking about twenty G's. Talking about twenty bands. I'm talking about twenty, about 20, about 20 <laughs> piece. Oh, a whole twenty. <laughs> I don't yeah. talk about you a twenty piece. I don't want to say it's if hard. You ain't used to shit. You know what I'm it's hard to hide that rent. type of money, so a bitch gonna know. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to hide that. You know, yeah. what I'm a nigga gonna buy him some. A nigga gonna buy him some to let a bitch know I'm getting money. Man, me and Ted was talking about this shit today. Yeah. We was talking about this shit exactly today. We said it was a goddamn plane flying. We was parked and everything. It was a plane flying over our goddamn head. I said, what the fuck would we do if that goddamn plane dropped a billion dollars out there, motherfucker? You know what the first thing he said? What's it? He said, we going straight to the motherfucking house. To the house? Straight to the motherfucking house. You got to explain it. Give I'm at least going to give me about five, six hundred. I'm about to tell you. He said, the first thing they expect you to do is to go spin and find out who the fuck got this goddamn money. Yeah. He say, he say we can we can chill for for a month or two. 
And he kept on talking and talking. I'm like, no. Oh, hold on. I'm, on fact, I'm lost in the story. We can sit on this shit for probably about six months. Hold on. So you saying the plane dropped the money and y'all got the money? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he like, we can sit on this shit about a month or two before we got down and do some shit. Like, shit, I said this shit for a couple oh, years. Shit, yeah, right. a uh, A couple years, shit. Ain't no rush. <laughs> ain't no yeah, rush. No. No. But I'm going to tell you this, though. I'm going to buy, no buy something. I'm going to buy something. It might not be no big shit. But it I'm might be stuff. a pair of shoes. It <laughs> might be a, 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 a little, you know what I'm saying? I might buy me a little, a little Nissan or something. Well, see, it might buy me something low-key, but... I'm going to buy me something. Ain't no way I'm going to be out here fucked up. I got a bed. I'm out here. No, you ain't going to be fucked up with no goddamn money. I'm trying to buy. I'm right. fucked up because I'm trying to hide the money. I'm a yeah. broke nigga. Yeah, motherfucker don't know I got motherfucker that shit. Motherfucker don't know I got that shit. <laughs> nah, one thing about it, once you're a broke nigga in everybody else's perspective, you are always going to be a broke nigga. No, no. no. Hell no. Yes, yes, I'm yes, my mother, yes, you yes. put some Balenciaga shoes on your head right now. Motherfucker black. Like, God damn. damn. Then how you feeling? Dread. Balenciaga? Shit, they gonna know then. Watch this. You just came up on something. Watch it though. This was seven hundred dollars shoes. Okay, you go from where Reebok to Balenciaga. I got some shit I would say on this shit, but I ain't gonna say it. But well, shit, I, you I, probably I put, shouldn't. I put my shit you out there. Probably shouldn't. I ain't gonna say it. Like shit, but, nigga, I ain't even got no money. I just got a new credit card. Yeah, I ain't even got no money. Like, shit, nigga, I ain't even got no money. I just got a new credit card, and I bought some Balenciaga. Two pairs. What's two up, baby? <laughs> my size, nigga. <laughs> I'm saying, Two what's your size? Huh? What's your size? Shit, what the size of my foot is? Two pair. Two pair though. I really but, all, all I'm saying is, man, you ain't gonna have Look, I ain't really bought to no buy no goddamn budget. Balenciaga, no Giuseppe's, no Gucci's, no none of that. You ain't gotta have no goddamn money. There's people in the world they got down, they get paid off to buy you that type of shit. To buy your fashion. People in the world. And I'ma keep it at that. That's as simple as I'ma get. So as people what, Go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm people sorry. get paid. To buy you what you want to wear, as long as you got them, pay them. This is how it goes. It's a demand. Yeah. It's a supply demand. If it's a demand for it, I'm gonna go get the supply. Yeah. If, more, if it's what motherfuckers want, I'm a, I'm a, but but I'm gonna tell you how the shit. So flip side on that type of shit, like yeah, it's some shit that we place so much value on mm -hmm. that in some places have no value at, at all. all. Yep. You are like, you motherfucker are don't even want that. Yeah. Like you got bless y'all and Gucci on motherfuckers don't. They look at you crazy. Man, they, they they out there rolling the sand and that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You go to them other countries, motherfucker playing soccer and rolling the grass and that it's shit. Just it's, you know what I'm saying? You know what them saying? them they that they regular get up. So let me and that you, shit so, that shit don't have no value like that over no, there. So, so let me ask you a question. Uh, no value. As far as being in on uh, on uh, in, in in a situation where you stable. And then a woman trying to choose you. Do you think if you got a pair of Balenciagas on or a pair of Gucci's on, that woman gonna feel like you stable? I wouldn't give a fuck if I had on felines. Cause one thing about it is, if I got on the goddamn pair of Balenciagas and I ain't got no fucking my own spot to lay my own head in without nobody else and, and call it my own, then if the bitch still want me, if I stay in the goddamn Two bedroom apartment, one bathroom with six niggas that live in this motherfucker. She still want me then. I can't pretty much say the bitch pretty much down. But I'm gonna just put this on your brain real quick. Okay. It's a difference from being stable and really getting money. That's true. You see what I'm saying? I agree. I agree on both of y'all statements too. When, when you when you stable, you know what I'm saying. You don't give a fuck. About yeah. any of that I type of shit. Kind of, I kind of flipped the. But no, you. No, you straight because you you, 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 you said some real shit. You said some real shit. You said some real shit. But on a, but on, on some real shit like when you stable, you know what I'm saying. You gonna think like you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna just do this and do that. Move this certain way. Move this yeah. certain way. And when you really getting money, yeah. You know what I'm saying. It's easy to say what you gonna do when you stable. Oh, if I had this. I do this, this, and this. Right, right, right. Okay, you got a bunch of motherfuckers that say, "Man, if I had a million dollars, I do this, this, and that." Mm -hmm. I yeah. guarantee you, if you if you hear somebody say that, three, four months, and you give them a million dollars, they not gonna do that plan. They say, "No, hell no." They gonna go go out and get everything that they want. You can tell them to write it down. Yep. Write down your plan. If I gave you a million dollars right now, 
They write it down. I guarantee you, three things they wrote down ain't gonna get done. Oh hell no. You feel me? Because they gonna. It's easy to say that shit when you stay, but you you know what I'm saying? You like, man, you got that mindset. I'm comfortable, I'm, I'm, but I want more. You know what I'm saying? I'm comfortable, but I want more, and I'm doing good with what I got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Only if I had more, I could be doing extra good. Yeah. Because I'm doing damn good with what I got. Right. Until you get that more, and you like, shit. Shit. Right, hey, I'm going to say this. Shit. I'm going to say this. You and you, both of y'all got at least... Out of all the homeboys that y'all got, I ain't gonna call them homeboys. I'm saying friends. Okay. Y'all at least got two or three of them that got down buy a new pair of joints that come out every fucking month. Uh, how yeah. often every yeah. uh, every joint come out? Yeah. I got a partner buy every pair. I'm right. not saying that. I'm not saying one partner. But you got that partner that do buy that don't even fucking own his own car, his own house, or his own business. I'm saying one of the three. True. Let me ask y'all something. True, but I got to say, maybe when we were, you know what I'm saying, I'm kind of getting, and that's why I feel like I'm kind of getting older. Mm-hmm. Because maybe when I was young, that statement true. But now that I'm getting older, you know what I'm saying? My partners, they getting older too. And I'm seeing them mature, you know what I'm saying? Cause change a little bit. One of my partners, like, he bought every single pair of shoes, but he's straight, though. Yeah. He can do that. He can do that. He, 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 he can do it, you good. But, you know what I'm saying? He can but, do it, you damn good. But my point is, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting older. Everybody around me getting older. So I'm seeing motherfuckers really make. Like right now, that why. No, you good. You good. You like good. right now, like I said, I think me personally, I'm living the most important years of my life. You feel me? Like, yeah. What I do right now is critical to what you gonna what you gonna have. What, what my future gonna look like? Right. You know what I'm saying? If I right. fuck up right now, my future pretty much fucked up. Right. For at least the next five to ten years. You feel me? If, if you ain't, if you don't manage it right. If I don't, if I fuck up, if I drop the ball right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can face serious, serious consequences. See what I'm saying? See what yeah. I'm getting at? Yeah. So, I think the people around me starting to realize this shit too. Maybe we were younger, I still see niggas do dumb shit like that. And you still got dumb ass niggas that still do that, but that's why I think I separate myself from them type of niggas because they're dumb as a motherfucker. So, you ain't got no motherfucking car code. Yeah. And that's the first thing you need to get because I feel like what, I can't what, go what get no money. Say that, what made me say that is shit. I got a partner right now. My partner. He gonna buy every goddamn pair of Jordan ones. They goddamn come out. I don't give a fuck what it is. You name it. It's a pair of Jordan ones. He gonna buy it. He gonna work his ass off, and he gonna make sure himself straight, family straight. He gonna goddamn do it. So basically, what you're saying is he's one of the type of cats that he ain't really preparing for the future, but he being happy. He living this. He living this best life. He a young guy. Okay. Hook J. This me. This big. This big monk in your boy. This me talking to you. You did. He going to live his best life, and he going to got down, buy what he want to buy, and he going to make sure self straight, family straight, everything else straight. So when it comes to being a man, right? Okay. When it comes come to being a man, and what, you know what I'm saying? I see a lot of men make this mistake, mm-hmm. even though, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I make, I make the same mistake. Bit. Men or boys? Men. Yeah, men. Men. We talking yeah. about men. We talking about when you reach that age to work. Yeah. What's you your know, age? you know, What's your age? whatever, whatever you feel like you mature. You got some people that mature at 21, 22 that I already am got two kids that I already got to be a man. You but feel they're right? not men though. But they, they, they real really, boys. You can say that to yeah, a certain extent, man. but you got some of them that really are handling their business like men yeah. at the age of twenty one. I know some niggas that doing it. Shout out to them type niggas that yeah. step up and do what they gotta do. But at the same time, at the same time, you know what I'm saying? When do you feel like we got to, okay, like I say, our priorities are, you got a lot of men that still putting women as a priority. 
Let me tell you why. They might not admit it, but let me tell you why. Okay. Everything we do, unless you gay. Yeah. Everything we do is to some type of some type of way to get that one. You want you want look. You don't want to be looking fucked up when you when 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 these women out here when these women see you. Right. No, you know because what I'm saying? your first. No, is I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna leave it at this and I'm gonna let you carry on, but. When you first show a woman, what you all about? Like, you might dress up in Gucci. You might dress up in Louis. You might dress up in goddamn Jibbo. You might be sharp as a motherfucker that's going to a goddamn funeral. The first day you meet her, though. The second day, you might goddamn show up in some goddamn jogging pants mm -hmm. and a tank top. So your first perspective is your your, per, your first impression. Is you're your right. First impression. You're right. You, mm -hmm. And it's totally true. But let me go on take off on it. All right. But I'm talking about when you really in your pop your shit mode. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know when you're in when your, you pop, in your pop, your, pop your shit. When you're in your pop your shit mode. Oh uh, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? When you're in you your pop your, your shit mode, yeah. you Look. ain't gonna be in no jogger pants, no tank top. So what you when you in jogger pants, tank top, you. Going here, going there, and going back home. Right. No, no, no. You see no, what no, I'm no. saying? But when you in your jogging pants, tank top, V neck, or whatever the fuck it is, you comfortable. You already got the bitch. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Or, or, I ain't gonna call yeah. you. Or, I ain't gonna call no bitch, but you already got the one. Or yeah. you, you, you just out handling business. Right. Let's say tonight. Let, let's say you know what I'm saying. We're going out. Yeah. You, you gonna you gonna pop your yeah, shit? Yeah, you gonna stay and fresh. You ain't pop. I hope you ain't trying to pop your shit to impress me. Right. Like I'm finna pop my shit for that nigga D White, so that nigga I'm getting it. Nah. Nah, you ain't doing it for me. I hope not. You doing it? For you the doing one. it for? You know what I'm saying? I'm finna show these. I'm finna got them it. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna have all these hoes not walking in motherfucker. At least looking. At least having a bit turn her head black. Like, oh, that 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 makes me. You feel me? That make me satisfied. Oh, that. When I at what age you. should you feel like? Man, that shit shouldn't even satisfy me no more. Well, I want to ask you. That shit shouldn't even be a priority no more. Go ahead. I want to ask you this. So, listen. Like, I'm going to say this. Like, your first. You done met a female before. You know what I'm saying? Y'all done kicked it. The whole first day and all type of shit, shit. Y'all shoot the shoot, shoot. Mm hmm And the second night. The second night, y'all got down. Y'all get ready to go out on a date. Or whatever, y'all kick it the whole first date, and then y'all got down, decide to go out on a date. Say for instance, y'all kicking at five o'clock that evening, and y'all decide to go out on a date at goddamn nine o'clock that night, mm -hmm. and you still got on the V neck. Oh, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out with her just cause she wanna go somewhere. Right. But now I'm. I'm if, gonna, if, no, if, no, but if no. I got time to get my shit right, right. I'm, I'm gonna get I'm my, shit, get my shit right. But then you goddamn decide to goddamn throw on a goddamn. Chinchilla like Frank Lucas. Well, I want to put that shit on, but yeah, I see, where, I see where you're getting it though. Yeah. I see where you're getting it, but th but this is my point though. I feel where you're getting that. This is my point. Let me get, let me share it with you. I, I know your point. It, 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 it ain't a personal story. It just this shit happens. Uh -huh. Have you ever been in? Let's just say been in your comfortable state. Let's say what you got on that yeah. little t-shirt, head to the back, just chilling, yeah. and you walk in the store, see a female, yeah. she walk right past you. Yeah. Don't even look at you. Don't mm -hmm. even look at you twice. Yeah. Let's say the next day you popping your shit. Now she, uh. Wait a minute. Hold ha, on. Who the fuck this nigga? Has that ever happened to you? Yeah. yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So Who a woman can't never is. tell me that none of that shit don't matter. Yes, it that do. Shit first, do. Yeah. That shit matter. Now let me play woman's advocate here. Don't you do it? I got to. I got to play woman's advocate on this because from the same standpoint, we look at the woman the same way. Because of that woman out there, she on her shit, she looking good, she got her hair popping, she got her nails on point, she got her motherfucking eyebrows on point, she ain't out here looking like no motherfucking blue We, we gonna think that she would. We gonna think, oh, look, this motherfucker is nice. But if she come out with her titties out, what you gonna think? Uh, She's a whore. It's why, a, I, why she it, got to be a whore? Because that's just how it is. I didn't make the rules. 
Listen, I didn't create the game. I just played. That's it. You see what I'm saying? The game don't change. The game was created before I got here. The game don't change. You see what I'm saying? I just followed the instructions. It got a lot of people that's fucking up the game because they going to go and cuff a bitch like that and then try to justify what the fuck she doing when she knows she wrong. She knows she ain't supposed to be wearing it. But she got a nigga trying to justify her and this nigga looking crazy. Right. He probably finna get his head drugged. Right. Cause this nigga got 10 niggas. You out with your bitch. How you gonna fight 20 niggas? This nigga came to the club deep. You came with your bitch. There you go. You, 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 and but, but a woman, you. a woman, sorry, a, fill, a, woman. a woman will fill a nigga head up so big to the point where she had him thinking, I can take out these motherfucking niggas. This is my bitch. I'm gonna protect my bitch regardless. Nah, when a nigga should have been trying to protect his bitch at the house. Nah, go. baby, don't put that shit on. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't put that shit on. Now, now when you come with me, you go out with your girls like that because all y'all probably dress like hoes anyway. All right, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all. I'm gonna give y'all a certain a certain situation. I had. you sound like Tiz. Nah, no, I ain't just, talking about you. I'm nah. talking about you. Sound like Tiz. What you just said, <laughs> bitch. These motherfuckers can't nah, 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 nah. fuck with me. Please. Okay, I'm bitch. Glad. I'm the hook. I'm so glad I'm doing this show because y'all get a chance to see my growth. I'm I'm trying to start doing better. Give me about a month or two, y'all gonna start seeing the change, but I'm trying. Hey, now but, I will say this right here. Now I had a situation to where, you know what I'm saying? I I had me and me and my lady, we went out. Let me get one new shot. You I know thought what you I'm were saying? through. Huh? I thought you said one more and okay. you were through. A pussy <laughs> hoe can never. Right. <laughs> so man, me and my lady, we go out and she dressed very nicely, is what I would say. So, you know, I'm like She's not out here provocative. She just got her nice little jeans on with her with her boots. You know what I'm saying? With the heel on the back. You know what I'm saying? Well, so what I'm, it was is she was looking too good for you. No, 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 no. <laughs> she looked just fine for me. All right. So what the business is? The business was I step away, go to the bathroom. I get a, I come back. It's a dude trying to holler. At her. Right. Now me, if you want to put it in the play of the max status. I don't say nothing. I stand back and I watch. I I I eyeball what my woman gonna do. Now she looking good. She looking nice. She's like, no, I don't go that route. But I will say this: I can't even be mad at dude. Cause dude is like, okay, he's very respectful behind it. Why? Because she's. I'm 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 putting it from my standpoint. I feel like the way he was respectful was because she was dressed respectfully. Now if she comes around there and she's dressed very disrespectfully. And he's like, bitch, how you gonna turn me down? Bitch, you out here with your whole ass out. Bitch. What was, what now, was, I'm like, sorry. Damn. No, no. I apologize. No, no. The reason I say that is because when he say that to her, no. the first thing she does is she gets offended. Wait a minute. I'm not no bitch. And then she comes to me. Can you believe this nigga called me a bitch? No. And I'm like, woman, what nigga called you a bitch? Now, most niggas would be like, yo, that nigga called you a bitch. Let me go check him. Because you ain't gonna talk to my woman like that. But me coming from the way I am, I'm like, yo, baby, listen, we talked about this. I told you, don't come out like that. Right. What would now, be when you, your defense, though? My, de- my somebody as far as like with the dude or the female? The dude. The dude, my, my I'm not even finna go approach dude. Like, Cause I'm finna if, be like this what right if, What if, what if your old lady had on, you know what I'm saying? A whole fucking jumpsuit or some shit. Okay, let's say she had a club. Yeah, but she was and, and he's and like, he still call her a bitch. Now, guess what? No, that's different. That's different. That's, that's totally different. That's now totally I know different. I'm defending my woman and I'm in the right. Right. I know that. But she, think about it. And and I just want to say this for the people. Yeah. If you do dress like that, they don't necessarily mean you a hoe. Right. And if you dress respectfully, they don't necessarily mean you not a hoe. Right. I'm not saying I'm not saying that you automatically a hoe. Right. Or I'm not saying you automatically not a hoe. Right. That's not what I'm saying. My point is it's all about respect. You know what I'm saying? If you're going out with your man, you need to respect him enough to say, I'm going to go out with him and re- represent him in a respectful way. Right. Or represent him no, in a, a good way. It's because a think about it. Fact. Your, your, your woman represents you. Yeah, she does. It's a scientific fact that. If you let your woman leave out the house with well, what she approve is appropriate appropriate for you, that everything is substantial. You feel me? Right. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you ain't going to leave without out this motherfucking house with something that so ain't. So if my bitch leave out the house with a goddamn two-piece on, 
and I feel like it's substantial for me, then everything's that's so, cool. Right, right. That's yeah, cool. That's cool. That's cool. Because you're going to hold your own on it. Yeah, you're you right. But what if, what if it's something that you feel like it ain't substantial? Right. You know what I'm saying? She know not to put it on. Right. So that's that's what we're saying. We having a conversation that's, that's with our woman. Right. To be like, yo, baby, Listen, baby don't it, put me in that this ain't, to, to be like this. You know what I'm saying? Because so how, okay, so t- okay. Let's get, get back to the point. Let's get back to what you just said. How she gonna know? Right. How she gonna know it's a, it's, what it's your, what what your limit is? It's Tell a, me that. It's an automatically understanding. No, no, some women, no, 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 some women would, some women would think. Am I right or wrong? It is understanding, but. If let's say for instance, she put this on, and you necessarily don't approve of it, what right. you gonna do? Are you gonna you gonna speak on it? Are you gonna or speak you gonna on it? Let it go? Are you gonna let it go? Are you gonna be like, you know what? Come on, let go. Nah, baby, this ain't gonna work. Okay, that's why I'm getting it. So you basically agree with me? It's just some shit that you're not gonna put on when you with no, me. No, 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 no. If a bitch, no, I ain't gonna say a bitch. But if your old lady or your girl, wife or whatever, wear some shit that you feel like to it. That I don't approve of. Right. That you don't approve of. And then she go in the crib and change and put on some shit that you do approve of. And then she go to the club and other niggas approve of the shit. Then what? Like, I'm cool. damn. I'm this cool. Bitch, this bitch fat. P-H-A-T. Right. Pretty hot and yeah, yeah, you, I, I, I did that. It's different, though. Because no man, did no that man would have a woman that don't that nobody else want. But. And vice versa. But she, I don't give a fuck if she J-Lo. Right. You're not going to put that bullshit on. You're not going to walk around here with your ass <laughs> I don't give a fuck if she the baddest out. bitch in the world. you going to use that to make motherfuckers be like, damn, I refuse to let you degrade yourself or represent me, or right. misrepresent me right. in the wrong way because you with me, and first thing... I, I would think of that. That nigga let his woman come out like that. Right. You feel you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Now, it's, it's one thing to say it's confidence. It's one thing to say it, it, that it's, it's insecurity, it's insecurity all that bullshit. But, also, but let's shit, just be real. It's, it's on something like that. And this is what I call responsive uh, relationship respectability. If I'm in a relationship with a woman, I will not put her in no position to be disrespected. And I expect the same. And, because this is what I say. Women are not... Stupid. No. They know what they doing. Women are smart, man. Yes. Just think about it. Who who who, who teach who, you who teach you most of the shit you know? A woman. That's true, bro. Come hey, on. Man, a motherfucking how, woman taught me shit. How many teachers you had? Mama. How many teachers you had? Bro. In school. They were men. Let me let me explain something to you. And I look and I how many were women? More. Most yeah, more te- So you you have you have well was, my bad. I, and I, had, I, was in, I, I, I had, had, I had, I had, had more women teachers than I, I had men right. teachers. Oh, you, you got a little bit of tears in you too. You tear nephew, right. you tear <laughs> nephew to the heart. Huh? <laughs> yes, sir. But, but yo, I'm, I'm, I'm just, just saying though. Listen, man, a woman ain't taught me shit except Don't read the. You right? You but, right. That, but see, she taught you something. She Don't taught read you the better be me than root the foot. You still naming women. You still naming women. Keep on going. I ain't mean to cut you out. That's it. You been naming no. You been naming a whole book of women. Dorita is my mother. Right. Keep on going. Betty Beeman is my grandma. Keep on. Ruth is my great grandma. Keep on going. Uh, Ruth is my great 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 grandma. You got some good auntie. Yeah. They taught you something. Yeah. Keep on. Keep going. Women. But you know how many uncles don't talk right? About they they teach you that. But who more? Who's more of a patient teacher? Right. I know see, a see, man. No, got, you got different type of shit though. You, you do, you do. Teaching, a woman man. can only teach you so much. Right. It's on. It's, it's shit that got, only a man can teach you. Right. you no. saw, but who? But most of the teaching comes, comes from, from a woman. woman. No, you in a, society. You a lie. You in society, lie. maybe not you in your personal life, life, but in society. The only thing a goddamn woman can teach you is how to fucking. I can't even say raise a fucking child. Yeah, they can. They can teach you goddamn cook, clean, which is all, all the basic necessities. Teach you your ABC one two three. Your daddy didn't teach you that shit. Your mama did. Your daddy taught your you. Your daddy didn't teach you how. To, your daddy didn't teach you say that that. No, your mama did. Your say mama, daddy. your daddy didn't teach you how to motherfucking walk. Your mama put your ass in that walker. Daddy was out doing other shit. 
and, and, and making money and trying to come home yeah. and bring home the bacon. Mama is the one that, while you was a motherfucker on, baby, teaching your ass all this shit. How to pot it. You can even go You know back what I'm saying? Day. Daddy ain't got the patience to teach your ass how to pot it. You know what I'm saying? Mama gonna be the one. Listen to what you do. You, you, you aim at the toilet and you do this. That's a woman. You feel me? A woman is a more natural teacher. She's a nurturer. Than a nurturer. You feel she what I'm is. saying? She's a nurturer. And see, this way. So that's why I know they're not dumb. Right. If your woman puts some shit on, she know. She know good on, damn bro. well. When she puts some shit on, her nipple showing. My man might say something about this. Right. Now, I was real but shit. But if she do that, that mean you not her man. Oh, man. Conversation. Oh, my boy just clarified. And that's another episode. It <laughs> is. That is another topic for another episode. Follow that shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just, no, that's all shit. No, nah, that's that shit, man. Wait, look, that's how we gonna end this. I'm shit. done talking. That's how we gonna end it. Cause my man here just killed the game. He just killed already. it. That's it. He did. If she he wear did. that shit, she, she not your no. woman. That's it. <laughs> and that's how the cookie crumble. And it, hey, that's how the cookie crumble. That's how the goddamn cake eat. We gonna end this shit right here. I don't know what happened to my other co-host. The nigga just left, but. You know what I'm saying? We, I basically say we had our final thoughts within everything. Right there, that's that is not the final thought. Your woman, not your woman. She's not you your hoe, man. What I get will, your hoe, man. Hey, what I'm gonna say this is, man. This has been another episode of the Sip City Podcast. Was well, it pretty good? It was very My first good. first time. I'm telling you, first time on the podcast. <laughs> Why are you cam right here? Y'all look them up on the book, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Triple Bean. Shout out to Skip the Comic. FOE underscore TV on YouTube, Mr. Sink. You know what I'm saying? Like, all, all the cats I fuck with, man. Y'all know how it is, man. This is Sip City Park. What up, Trip? You know what I'm saying? Hey, Kid Ray. You know what I'm saying? Dot Solo on IG. You know what I'm saying? At underscore 601 Earl. One of our previous guests. Man, look, y'all fuck with us, man. We we do this shit, man. Hey, we young rich to... nigga Cam, man. I roll by myself. I roll with Triple B. You did. Hey. I roll with Yes, man. I rolled my titty, you did. So we, you know, what I'm saying we 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 trying to bring some some decent content around here, but I will say this as far as the final thought, ladies, listen. Always, if you in a relationship with that fella, with that man, respect that man, fellas. If you in a relationship with that woman and you really care about her, you you got her up under you and you trying to give her some tutelage on on how to be in a relationship with you. You know what I'm saying? Give a fuck about it and pay attention to what's going down. And on that note, man, this has been Sip City Podcast. We got D White, YRM Camp, co host T sitting over here on the side. I don't know where he went, but we're going to find it. Y'all look for it. We out this bitch. Hey.